is uh, Sente's character Catalina got big buffs. She they added her to the game, hopefully. All right, getting the stage pick going. Onre theme on Lumasi. Okay. Oh, I pronounced it right. I'm the goat. Hold on. I'm true game we fan. <laughs> and the Clash Royale emotes are going out on the stream deck. Shout out to Gabe for adding those. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Oh, okay. All right, just some standard footsies going up. Sente gets the run-up throw. It does a hee for good measure. Holy shit. Hitting the stream deck mid-animation is kind of insane. You got to respect it, though. All right. You know, despite uh, Sente getting a lot of, like, neutral wins here, still kind of down in damage just because Sora's get a lot of damage off little hits like uh, Impact Knuckles and whatnot. Ooh, gets the minus frames at a DP. Sente confident in his uh, decision making here. Yeah, and this is where Catalina wants to be. Uh, you're back to the corner and she has ample space to do whatever she wants. Ooh. Ingo's trying to fight back, though. Just challenging with these light normals and dash L's. Alright, well, got a little bit of a side spot, but oh, Mango armors through Sente's normal with uh, ultimate impact knuckles. Definitely the strongest move in Sora's kit. The threat of just like trying to do something in neutral and then Sora's just hits you with an armored move that converts into a full combo. Kind of crazy. Oh, looks like something's going on. Did Sente have an... Oh, Sente did not bind his button. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> there's, there's a good old laugh. That would explain a lot, I think. I think Sente relies a lot on the dash macro. Doesn't matter, though, as he's already getting this neutral one anyways. No more deficit. Yeah, some standard grand blue gameplay right now. There's a bunch of spacing and footsies going on. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, just fencing out with these stagger normals. Kindly his normals are so good. Of course she needs it, but <laughs> Yeah. Mango, Mango is uh, a little down a little bit, but, you know, he's sore, so any good hit here, especially with meter, could just be the game for him. Oh, but Sente hits that far H. Now you got final round with the little witch lady there. I guess not little. No, she's, she's definitely not little. My fault. All right, but Mango getting these Impact Knuckles in. The threat of Impact Knuckles is also pretty good, because even if you block everything and you react accordingly to the special moves every time, uh, Suarez can actually kind of chip you for a lot over time. And even if he gets these like hits and can't convert anyways, it's just it just does flat damage to you. Oh, but Sente with this reversal. <laughs> Mango with the, the angry emote. Truly really gold. Who's on mic? It is none other than Blitzen. Oh, this SSBA. Oh, we know it's just the SBA. It didn't kill. I forgot. Swords doesn't have an actual like SSBA attack. He has to go to the install. But still closes it out with a little jump in. Sente's loving the Clash Royale emotes. Sente said that. Sente literally told Gabe. Sente was like, "We need to keep this permanently." He's like, "You need the stream deck here." You see, now we need a weekly Clash Royale bracket to really balance this out. That'd be crazy, though. 
Imagine like you just have like, what is it, like a blue stacks just doing like a spectator match on the as the like the stream thing, and then you just have two people on their phones just playing for grands. That'd be crazy. It's like, oh, fucking expo player in grands. I hate it here. Oh, but Sentai gets this counter hit and gets uh, nice far H conversion. Yeah. Canelina's combos are kind of whack, but if she counter hits you near the corner, she is going to take you there and do a lot of damage. All right. Ooh. Mango starting to absorb these fireballs. Very important for Sora's to get the manliness stacks and then uh, increase his armor. Ooh, gets the DP too, even though he's in the corner. Now he can side swap, and he will. Not really establishing much though. Okay, well, uh, doesn't matter if you just do a random impact knuckles and hit. Yeah. Uh... Oh, but Sentai gets a wake up grab. No cares in the world. Oh, and that's just straight into SSBA. That's that's the game. <laughs> Mango crying. <laughs> Sentai laughing. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Yeah, Sentai doing Clash for Alley emotes mid mid set is very it's fucking. It's awesome to say the least. I'm actually sad to see a two-person gray blue bracket. I've actually gotten kind of fond of the game. Yeah, I mean, definitely part of it is the fact that it's like the whole tornado warning and the, you know, thunderstorms kind of got people not wanting to come. So I'm sure that affected the bracket a little bit, but yeah, uh, the game's not looking very popular right now. Oof. I know a lot of people give me, like, criticism for dropping the game, but I don't know. Personally, not feeling it. Oh. So he whiffs the DP and still just doesn't get punished, but that counter hit's gonna work. Yeah, decent damage to say the least. So it's like a, you know, just like okay, 40%. No one giving me shit? Oh, I've seen like Gavin and Gabe was shit talking to me earlier too. What do you mean? He's like, I can't believe you dropped Grand Blue after like saying it was your, your main game and whatnot and you were supporting it so much. I mean, I wasn't saying shit talking, I was just giving me shit. <laughs> Bring Noel back? Hmm. If the game is good, if the game becomes good and like another patch fixes it, I'm down. But right now it's like still kinda the, the problems are still kinda there. Ooh, this that was a weird interaction. Ooh, the, the little raging strike got uh, absorbed by the 5U. And oh and a DP just to, for good measure. Yeah, you don't get to play neutral right now. I mean, we're going to final round game three. Heard Kizzy made a video about Un dropping Grand Blue. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Kizzy K, he knows about me. <laughs> For sure. I forgot where, but I, I knew I met Kizzy in, or I didn't meet Kizzy, I just saw Kizzy in public, like somewhere random, like during Frosties, and I was just like, hey, that's Kizzy, and I, but I didn't say hi to him, I didn't really, I was like, oh. I'm not gonna be one of those guys. One of those people. He saw him at Frosty's and was like, holy crap. Like, no way, that's that's the guy. It's like, I know that guy. That's honestly how I feel about a lot of FGC people. Like, I'm not really like fans. Except for the, the one time I got signatures from like Romola. When, 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 I, when I had to talk to Romola, I was like, oh, holy shit, I'm your biggest fan. I'm the reason I picked up Soul Bad Guy. Like, you're my goat. That was actually like an anxious mess when I made Romola, but everyone else is just like, oh, yeah, it's that guy. I know that guy. Like, I saw him on Twitter or something. But yeah, Mango's taking the, taking the lead here, 2 1. It's gonna be a long set here, because both these players kind of like to play slow, and it's a first to five, so, gonna be here for a little bit. Like, I honestly forgot that uh, Grand Blue was before Street Fighter. I thought it was Street Fighter first and then Grand Blue for some reason. Great. 
Uh, Sente tries the thrust, but then Mango Copter gets the ultimate impact knuckles, and Sente crying while getting hit. Crying mid combo has to be optimal. Ooh, Mango tries to go for that little like slow overhead, but Sente knew. Sente knew to press. Oh, but he was not. He didn't know to block there. Okay, yeah, Sente playing these footsies well. It's a really good to like stagger pressure with like moves like far L, 2M, far M. It's definitely how you should play Catalina. Just kind of sit there and oh, the grab on the medium punch. But yeah, just sit there and like just keep doing normals until one connects and hit confirm. It's really effective play. That's kind of how you have to play her, especially in like Rising, where you have to look out for so many like dash normally, yeah, like dash L, all of that. It's kind of insane. Oh, Mango's doing install. See how this works out. Oh, it gets the dash L, but can't convert. Yeah, it doesn't work out, because Catalina can just chip you out like that. <laughs> the angry emote. Hee 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 Why does the, why does hee 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 kind of look like Sente though? Am I wrong? It's like if Sente had a beard. When are we seeing, when are we seeing uh, Sente in the legendary arena? Oh shit. Just the 5 you in, in your face when you're, you're in the, you have the opponent in the corner is kind of crazy. Ooh, tries to get more dash pressure, but Sente's ready. Ready to press. No fear. Keeps going for it. Oh, but that one doesn't work out. Yeah, and counter hit M, it actually gives you a full combo in the corner. Does drop though. Not over for Sente. Oh, Sente was ready for it. Wow, that was an insane play. <laughs> he confirmed the 5U and was just like, I'm just gonna super. Because Soros doesn't have enough time after like a special cancel like that to just uh, get out of the animation. It doesn't kill though, because it's Catalina. Oh, but that 2M will. Woo. It's 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> you have a set on your hands. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Honestly, I really like how both these players play their characters. They're, they're both just patient, patient, you know, looking for openings. Like, obviously, Soros is pressing a lot more like buttons than Catalina is, but that's just like the nature of the character. It's how you need to like approach and pressure and everything. So it makes sense. Oh, and then he does ultimate impact knuckle neutral skip into DP. Oh, that's kind of crazy. It definitely works out though, so you can't complain. So that one's gonna get SBA'd. Good old Catalina Skybound art. And Catalina can even get that safe jab after, it's kinda crazy. I'm having a little too much fun with this. Battle <laughs> 2. All right. Ooh. Crazy trade there. Oh, that's going to chunk Sente a lot. Juicy SBA, confirm. And the patient pressure by both of them is just kind of... It's nice to watch. Nice to watch people not just doing Unga like 6XL all the time. Ooh, that, yeah, that dash M is unsafe if you don't space it properly. It's only minus 8, so, you know, a character like Soros can just far L, get a combo. Round start fireball. Kind of ju kind of ballsy by Sente. It works out. I guess Mango is also the kind of player to not jump off in, especially on Sora's. Hmm. 
Oh, wow. Oh! Sente, oh, Griffin can throw, but doesn't get punished really uh, heavily for it. We'll get grabbed, though. This is kind of Vortex by Soros. After, like, a grab or a hard knockdown, you can do a lot. Oh, but Sente getting this 5H to corner combo. Oh, but it side swaps on accident. Ugh, you hate to see it. Like, even if you don't do, like, a killing combo there, you still want to keep corner. It's definitely rough. Yeah, if I'm Sente, I'm just looking for that move. Oh, ooh! Oh my gosh. The 5H into medium punch, actually. It was thinking we might have killed if it was just L. Ah, oh, but Sente gets the far H. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, without fail, they're emoting. I feel like this makes up for the fact that you can't talk, or at least we usually don't have like open mics in the stream setup. Yep. Sente's pressing far age, Mango's pressing impact knuckles. This is definitely the footsies we expect to see. <laughs> Not a good spot for Sente, yeah, and he's gonna die for that. Gets clipped in the corner. I mean, good the instant impact knuckles to get that combo. Gets the dash L there, or the dash A M. My bad. The dash low. Oh, the DP through the impact knuckles. That's a statement. Because with that, it'd definitely be just be like death against Sora's. Oh, Mango gets a lot of momentum here. Yeah, with that impact knuckles straight into the meaty. Oh, but doesn't quite uh get any offense off it. Good tech by Sente. Oh, that SBA hits, yeah. I don't think it clean hits, but it still does considerable damage. Oh, that traded. And that's game six to Mango Copter. 3-3. Three, three. Oh, this might go to game nine, guys. <sighs> Let's see who gets the lead after this one. Yeah, I agree. The emotes can definitely get old after a while. It is pretty funny, though. <laughs> Crying mid-combo is crazy. Oh, Sente gets that jump in, but didn't convert, and yeah, he's gonna take the round for that. That could've easily just been like a, a good combo in an SBA, though. Probably would've run him the round. Ooh, yeah, juicy combo by Mango Copter. A lot of source combos are only one hits, but they still do like a lot of corner carrying damage. And this one is just goes straight into SBA, so obviously it's gonna do damage. Oh <laughs> tries to shimmy Mango or Mango tries to shimmy Sente out. We get, get a little clash in action though. Whoa! Oh Sente doesn't get the pickup. Guess it's still a little tricky to get Catalina combos despite the buffs. <laughs> Whoa, Sora's really hit the hee hee ha. What is Sente's response? Oh, 
Ooh, oh, the good throw on the M. Sentai is shaking his head. He's like, no, you're not you're not doing that. Get out of here. He's ready. Oh, tries to get the ultimate fireball, but gets absorbed by Sora's, and he's already sitting at three stacks. Oh, it goes into install. Let's see what happens. Sora's does get a little bit of new stuff in the install. Oh, that's just gonna kill. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't go straight into SSBA. I feel like it might have killed if he just went straight into SSBA, but he is gonna take the round nonetheless. It's gonna be set point for Minglecopter. All right, just keeps hitting those impact knuckles on oh, Sentei keeps swinging into 5U and not giving a proper punish until now. Hold on. Uh, that's still decent damage, but I feel like Sentei was looking for more. Ooh, all oh, the grab. Nice. All right. Sente's looking to take this round and even it up. Yep. Gets all these frame traps going. I'm surprised Sente doesn't spot dodge the impact knuckles, but I guess he makes it work, especially with this round taken. Going to game three, or round three on game eight. Are we going to have the ultimate set in our hands with the 4 4 or tie? Or will Mango Copter take it here? Oh, the M thrust is not a good sign for Mango. Oh. Oh, Sente using Light Wall for the first time. Oh, juicy counter hit, but. Doesn't actually get an insane combo. Oh, but this is gonna be a good combo. Oh, but Samingo drops it. Oh, it doesn't matter if you get hit by that, and that is gonna be it. Yeah, Sente with the preemptive cry emote. Mango Copter takes it. 5-3. <laughs> Mango taking first in the two-person bracket.